Hi guys, this is Zizi here with my morning tea and today we've got a position of the day number 9. We are black, the score is 7629 and we are supposed to play 2-1. Now, pause the video if you want to think about it as I'm going to walk you through the explanation. This position is special because I want to show you how backgammon is beautiful. In this position, the correct move is 4 to 3 and 2 off. Well, this just shows the beauty of the game that we cannot make moves which are just um, nonsensical, I guess. And we should just always stick with the idea, check all the options and have in mind the right mindset to, to find the correct moves. So what should be our mindset here? Well, our mindset is definitely winning a gammon, right? Since we are 7-6, so we are 2 away, 3 away, cube in the middle. So we wish to win the gammon uh, as we gain a lot. I mean, we win a match with the gammon. And looking at this position, well, this would be pretty difficult to lose. I mean, as we can already see in the analysis, we've got close to 95% to win the, win the game. So how to find this, how to see these positions? Well, let's look at the general thing. In positions which are tough to lose, um, we can estimate that the winning chances are over 90%, close to 95 or maybe close to 100%. Um, whatever we do, the, I mean, we don't lose much in winning chances, right? So. I mean, if we even, if we would have played something like, I don't know, um, whatever, 5-3, five, 5-2, five, well, our winning chances from this, this position would be basically still 90%. So you can see, I mean, from 95%, even though we, we would try to lose, it would be still pretty much impossible, even though impossible in background is pretty overrated word. So uh, careful about that. So... Back to the position, um, we've got a 2-1. We know it's hard to lose. Whatever we do, we will not decrease our winning chances by much. Well, what's, what's important though, we can increase our game chances by kind of a lot. So we know that whatever we do, we don't decrease. I mean, we, we cannot decrease our winning chances by much. What we know in these spots is that we want to fight for the gammon. And well, looking at this position and looking at this move, 2 of 4 3, I mean, well, we pretty much still cannot lose this game. I mean, of course, I mean, we can lose backgammon, anything possible. But um, what's going to happen? Well, will he even be happy uh, hitting us with a 1? I mean, if he rolls like 1-4, is he even hitting us? Well, it turns out it would be a huge blunder if he hits us. Uh, as we can still activate the cube anytime. So, well, actually we cannot lose because we can activate the cube anytime we want. Um, so with a roll like 4-1, well, I guess 3-1 he can just cover so it could be close. We can see it's close. So, important thing here to realize, what we can see is, is that we don't lose by getting hit. We lose absolutely nothing. Now, so we know that there's basically no downside to this position. Well, we can, we have to check that if there is upside, right? I mean, if there is no upside, we have no, no reason to, to make this move. Although, well, we can find kind of a lot of upside since we are taking a checker off and we are actually having like the best distribution uh, which we can have, right? So if he escapes, let's say with a six, well, suddenly you've got five builders to hit him, to make a point on him. And I'm pretty happy with that. I, I don't know how about you, but this is, this seems pretty solid position to me. So uh, to summarize this move or how to summarize the idea of the move, when we get high winning chances, close to 95, 100%, we don't care. We don't care, I mean, because we're going to win anyway. What we care about, if we want to win the gammon, 
We want to increase those chances because that's the place, that's the space. There's there's that space, you know, what we can where we can do something about it. So that's why when we uh, when open it is crashed, that's why we take checkers aggressively off no matter what. So if we roll five four, well, we just take two checkers off. Maybe it could be different if he got close board. Let's see. Um, if he got close board, you can see now, well, it's just super, super close. I mean, well, maybe it's something to do with the cube. But of course, this would be a safer play. So if he got a home board close, of course, we want to play safe. Of course, that would be a good idea. Let's say if it's DMP. Um, but important is, important idea is when he's crashed, when we basically cannot lose the game, Every time you say this, just push for the gammon. And well, this 2 1 was pretty tough to find, but um, this just shows the beauty of the game, the game we all love. So, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate and uh, comment down below with your, uh, with your questions or what would you do here. Thanks, have a good day, and see you soon. If you enjoy learning about backgammon, watching backgammon, we upload videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Make sure to subscribe so you will not miss any of our content. And remember, when you think there is nothing else coming up, there is always something coming up.